For part two of order of operations, we are going to add something in um, to our parentheses, multiply and divide from left to right, and add, subtract from left to right. We're going to add in simplify exponents and square roots. Now there's a, there's a couple of different ways to think about this, and there are a couple special situations that I'm going to show you, but for the most part, simplifying exponents and square roots just means changing them from a number with the square root over it or a number with an exponent just to a regular old number is what we're talking about. And Like I said, there will be some special cases that I'll ask you to write down, uh, but for the most part, this is pretty simple. You just do this first just to get your problem to just have normal numbers is basically what we're going for here. Now, this problem looks a lot more confusing than it has to. And that's where the simplifying step comes in. Before you start the problem at all, what I'm asking you to do is change anything that's a square root just to a regular old number and bring it straight down just like we've done before. Change everything that's got an exponent to its regular number in standard form and bring it straight down. So what I mean for this problem is before you do anything, let's change these to regular numbers. So square root of 9 is 3 keep everything else. 2 to the third power, and I just like to write this out just so I see what it is. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 to the third power should be 8 plus 49. The square root of 49 is 7. Close that parenthesis. And 1 to the eighth power is, of course, just 1 times 1 times 1 eight different times. Anytime you, anytime you multiply 1 together, it's still going to be 1. So now if you look at the problem, it is pretty close to what we've seen and used before. Now we just have to follow our procedures of order of operation. I would start with the parentheses, which would be right here, which would be 15. I'm going to bring everything I've used straight down. Okay. Uh, my next thing is going to be any multiplication division from left to right, whichever comes first. Uh, we only have one multiplication, so I can do that. 3 times 15. I know that, to think about this, if you can't do it in your head, like a clock, 15 minutes. If you have three 15 minutes, it's going to be 45 minutes. Now, I'll bring everything down. Subtract 1 is going to be 44. So this was not really any different than what you've done before, but you just needed to simplify these numbers to regular numbers first. Here is going to be one of those special cases that I talked about. We can go through and simplify all the exponents and the square roots. That would be easy and that would be easy to do. Here's the thing I want you to keep note of. If you've got an exponent outside of the parentheses, like we do right here, what we need to do is we need to wait until we get all the way through these parentheses and then at the end whatever your parentheses equal up to take it to the third power okay so if it's outside of the parentheses just wait till you're done with the parentheses and then take the number on the inside you get to the third power so for instance for this one we're going to want to start by simplifying everything that we can right now 3 to the second power, 3 times 3 is going to be 9. Square root of 16 is 4, and I'll bring everything else straight down. Keep our little third power on the outside there. Okay. Now, we're going to want to do parentheses, and inside the parentheses, Multiplication, division from left to right. Okay, Multiplication, division, neither one of them comes first. It's just whichever comes first left to right. So really what I can do is I can just do these as two separate problems. Uh, 6 times 2 is 12. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. With my little 3 on the outside. And what I'll do is I'll actually just solve this part too. 10 minus, or 12 minus 2 is 10. So now, I've got 10 with the little 3 on the outside. 
I am going to simplify this 10 with a little 3 on the outside, and it's not 30. Okay? If you have to write these out and see what they are expanded, I think that would be a good idea. But 10 times 10 times 10. Okay? 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is going to be 1,000. So the answer to 10 to the third power is 1,000. Now we've taken care of that. Now we can't forget the rest of our problem. Bring down our plus sign, our 4, our plus sign, and our 9. A or 9 plus 4 is going to be 13. And then I just have 13 plus 1,000, which is just going to be 1,013. Special case number 1, if you've got your exponent outside of the parentheses, wait for the parentheses, uh, then take it to whatever power it says. Special case number two. If you've got a square root symbol over a whole bunch of stuff, okay, we've got a square root symbol over all of this. Wait till you're done with everything underneath it. Do everything underneath it, almost like if it was parentheses. Do everything underneath it, then take the square root of everything underneath it. Okay, so if I see this, I'm probably just going to put these parentheses here just to know that I need to do all this first before I take the square root of it. Okay, so let's simplify first. Okay, underneath this square root, I should have 1 to the third power, which would be 1, 1 to the fifth power, which is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2. Bring everything else down. Now, all I have underneath here. Uh, and I would want to do this like it was parentheses. All I have underneath here is 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 4. So now I've got the square root of 4 minus 2. There's my subtract 8. Simplify the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is, of course, 2. Okay. Now I just have to go from left to right. Add, subtract from left to right. 8 minus 2... is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. My answer to this problem would be 4. Special case number 2, if you've got a square root symbol that's over a lot of different numbers, get everything taken care of first underneath, then take the square root of that. All right, we're going to do three practice ones here, <clears throat> practicing what you've learned throughout this video and the notes that you've taken. So what I would like you to do is, um, Stop this video after you write this problem down. Work it out. Make sure that you're showing your work. Make sure you're bringing everything down. If you can be neat and clean about this, it's very easy to fix it if you miss something. If you make a whole bunch of scribbles and it's sloppy, you're probably going to have to do it again if you miss it. So I really caution you. Use the method that I have taught you, and this is going to be a lot easier. Okay? Take a shot at this. Then play the video again to see how you did. All right, let's see how you did here. First thing you needed to go through and do was simplify everything. Okay, so let's do it. If you screwed up on this part, your problem's going to be wrong. So this is just important as everything else. 4 to the second power, if you put 8, that's not right. 4 to the second power is 4 times 4, which is 16. 4 to the third power. It's not 4 times 3. It's 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Now we have 16 times 4, which is 64. Uh, times 2 to the fourth power. 2 times 2, that's two twos, would be 4. Times another one would be 4 times 2 is 8. Times another 2, 8 times 2 is 16. So that would be 16 times square root of 1 is just 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. Take away, and those are just regular numbers, so we'll keep them there. Okay. Uh, next step, any multiplication division from left to right. Okay. Looks like we've got a multiply sign here, a multiply sign here, and a multiply sign there. Okay. So now we need to go left to right. So I need to do 64 times 16. Okay. And 64 times 16, I'm trying to think well, if I could do that in my head. Probably not, so I'm going to have to work out the problem. Uh, 64 times 16 is 1,024. 
Okay, I'm going to cross that out, and I'm going to bring everything else straight down. That's an important step. A lot of people want to go through that or go past that, and then they end up messing up at the end because they use something twice or they do something more than once. Okay. Next up, multiplication division from left to right. Right here, 124 times 1, or 1,024 times 1 is still 1,024. Cross that off. Minus 5 times 2 plus 16. Okay. Multiplication division from left to right. We still have one left. We have our 5 times 2, which is our 10. Bring down our numbers. Okay. Now all we have is add, subtract, and that's from left to right. So I have 16 plus 124, or 1,024, would be 1,040. Bring down my minus and my 10. 1,040 minus 10 is 1,000. 30 should be your answer to that one. Same thing with this one here. Jot this problem down uh, and then solve. All right, this contains special case number one we talked about here. We've got this exponent that we'd like to take care of, but we can't yet until we get everything in the parentheses taken care of. Okay, so that's what we're going to do first. We're going to get these parentheses taken care of. So I need multiplication division from left to right. So I've got 2 times 8, which would be 16. I'll bring everything else down. And my 2 to the second power is going to stay on the outside. 4 plus 16 is 20. So now I've got my 20 to the second power. 20 to the second power is not 40. 20 to the second power is 20 times itself. 20 times 20. 20 times 20 I know is 400. The reason I know that is 2 times 2 is 4, and then each of the 20s has a 0, so that's going to be 400. Bring everything else down. There's a plus 2, a plus 2, and a times 2. Multiplication division from left to right. I have a multiplication down here, so I have to make sure I do that. 2 times 2 is 4. Get rid of that. Bring everything else straight down. Now we just have a straight across addition problem. 400 plus 2 is 402. And now I just have 402 plus my 4, which is going to be 406. Remember, special case, exponent outside of the parentheses. Take care of the parentheses first, then take it to your second power. All right, last one we have here. And again, another special case if you've got this square root sign over the entire problem. Get rid of the entire problem first before you do the square root. So let's just answer the problem underneath first, and then we'll take the square root of it. Uh, let's see here. So we need multiplication division from left to right. So our first one comes right here, which is 3 times 3, which is going to be 9. Cross that off. Bring everything else straight down. Okay, next, multiplication division left to right. We've got our division right here. That's going to be 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Bring everything else straight down. Ooh, I did not do this ahead of time, but I'm glad it turned out perfect here. Okay. Multiplication division from left to right, we don't have anymore. Add, subtract from left to right. Right here, that's a 6. Bring everything else down. That would be a 15. Plus 1 equals 16. Now, the problem's not done yet because remember, we still have our square root that encompassed the entire problem on the top. So we have the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is 4. Our answer to this problem would be 4. Now, after you've had our notes and you've had our three practice problems, you should be able to do anything that involves exponents and square root.